first of all, I'm about an hour away from the birthplace of my mother. One, I love Hans Peter, he's a great person. Uh, I found out about Warwick Gear, checked it out, fell in love with it. And so this is the first year that I'm here as a professor. I hope that uh, people will enjoy what I have to say and that's pretty much where I stand right now. First concert with John McLaughlin, which was in a town called Reggio Emilia. The music was definitely on a level that I have not been able to play yet. Almost ready to, you know, to crap in my pants. And lost it a few times, had to kind of look at Treelock, where's the one, that type of thing. Garage Mahal was really, in some ways, the, the best and the worst of times trips in ski resorts in the middle of the winter getting snowed in you know everything you can imagine that happens on a tour happened to us 10 years we were on the road it was the only time that i experienced playing very progressive music still looking to recreate that now you know in the here and now Yeah, in many ways, like number one, the weight and the portability of the LWA-1000. Power in that little thing, the thousand watts. The other thing about it is the warmth of the, or the, warmth of the tone comparative to tube amplifiers. So I just basically really love that amp. I'm, I'm ready for the lightweight, so thank you Warwick. What happened in the last 10 years to the music industry, I thought like some of that was horrible, absolutely horrible. You cannot survive off of the royalty rates from Spotify. It's criminal. So I could either sit in my room and cry, or I could reinvent myself. So I ended up teaching myself web design, built my own website, came up with the teaching concept, set up an e-commerce platform, started to market myself directly to you know, um, my colleagues, started to do remote recording projects, I can literally like, you know, pull myself at my own bootstraps and create income if I don't have enough. Right, I mean honestly for me the hardest part was the feeling that oh my God, I'm no longer needed. Like maybe my career's over, you know, like these doubts started to come. And then I was like, no, now I'm just joining everyone else.